What is the crack? Today is the day that I say goodbye to my old PC. It served me well over the past six years, but with the help of the community, people donating on streams, sponsors, all that kind of stuff, I can finally afford to build a new PC. And having two kids and childcare, mortgage, cars, all that that I need to pay for, I didn't actually think that it would be within my grasp. But thanks to the community and thanks to the part-time wage that I'm earning from this channel, I could finally build my dream PC. Now don't get me wrong, this is not fully paid for by the channel. There are no sponsors involved or anything like that, but a huge chunk of it is actually paid for by you. So firstly, I'd like to start this video by thanking you from the bottom of my heart. I really, really mean it. I can't believe that you've helped me to achieve this. And a lot of you are so excited about building this. So let's get building. Firstly, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the parts. So we've got our processor, which is a an i7 9700K. I looked at the i9s and all that, uh, but the 9700K was the best bang for buck. Um, and the prices of these change all the time. So I'm not gonna be mentioning prices in this video. I do have links to all the products below. So you'll see the latest Amazon prices. Those Amazon links are affiliate links. So if you do end up buying the products, I get a commission out of it, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So that's good to know. And you'd really be supporting the channel if you do use those links. This is the main hard drive. These are getting smaller and smaller. This is an M2 drive. Uh, this is a 970 Evo Plus, one terabyte drive. Uh, really, really good. This is probably like the quickest you can get on the consumer market at the moment. Next up, we're going to look at the RAM. And the RAM that I've got is the G-Skill Trident Z. And it is RGB RAM. Uh, the, there are two sticks, eight gigabytes each. Uh, I really don't need more than 16 gigs, uh, but you'll see there are two packs here. I've got 32 gigs. Um, the sad truth of it is that I wanted lots more RGB on the motherboard. So having four of them and not having two empty RAM slots is the only reason I spent an extra 100 quid on RAM. So I'm sorry for that. I, I apologize in advance and feel free to roast me in the comments over that. The next thing is the Thermaltake Tough Power PSU. So this is the power supply, really good power supply. Again, more RGB on the fan and stuff like that built in. I went for the Tough Power as opposed to the model below it because the motherboard that I'm using is the uh, Republic of Gamers, the Asus Maximus 11 Hero. Uh, and uh, this one is specifically made for overclocking. So we're gonna be doing a bit of overclocking on the channel over the coming months. Um, and uh, this just allows for extra power and so does the power supply, uh, allows for extra power connections, which this motherboard can take advantage of. Now you don't need a power supply like that, but that power supply does play nicely with this. Next, and I guess uh, one of the things that's most important for a gaming PC build is our graphics card. Now this one, again, the community will know uh, I was going to get a 2070 um, Super, but uh, yeah, people convinced me to go for the 2080. I got some donations on stream and people were like, no, I'll get the 2080, get the 2080. Here's a tenner, here's two quid. So uh, yeah, this was made possible by the community as well. So thank you very much. This is a 2080 Super. It's the Gigabyte, Gigabit, Gigabyte uh, Aorus. Um, so uh, yeah, super excited. Can't believe I actually have one of these in my hands. Um, I looked at the 2080 Ti. I also looked at the water-cooled graphics cards. This is just a plain old air-cooled air one. Looks pretty cool. Um, the 2080 Ti, I couldn't justify it, um, especially with the uh, 30 series coming out in the coming months. Um, this is the best graphics card at the moment, I think, that you can buy realistically. If it was completely my money, uh, and if I wasn't encouraged by the community, this would be a 2070. So thank you very much, community. So another part is, of course, the cooler, because this, this CPU doesn't come with a cooler. Uh, a lot of them do, they have a little fan with them. Um, I didn't get a cooler, started looking at coolers, so I actually ended up going all out, and I ended up getting myself an EK uh, WB, it's EK cooling uh, RGB 360 kit. Uh, this is a complete liquid cooling kit. Uh, with a uh, fan reservoir, uh, all your pipes, RGB galore going on. So uh, really, really cool piece of kit. I actually reached out to them to try and get some sponsorship for this. Uh, this is a 450 euro part. Uh, and again, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Um, all of those links uh, will be um, Amazon affiliate links. Um, so 
Really, really excited about this. This is going to look deadly in the case. Uh, this is a CPU cooler only. It's not a graphics card cooler. And uh, of course, you guys all want to know what the case looks like. Now, the case is so big. It is down here, but it is so big that uh, I'm not even going to be able to show it in this shot. So uh, you guys will see the case in a little while. <laughs> the case is a uh, thermal take. P90 case. It's too big for me to actually lift off the ground and fit in the shot. So here's a little image of it. Those of you who are eagle-eyed will see to my left there are some more boxes. I've got like a Wi-Fi card, I've got a USB hub because I've got lots of USB stuff that I just want to sort out on my rig. But you guys will also have noticed a wall bracket. I'm going to wall mount the PC above my rig. So that's been like a dream of mine for a long long time to have a wall mounted PC in general. But having the ability to have it above my rig, I think it's going to look absolutely savage. Uh, it's really going to set my build apart and it's going to be very recognizable for the channel. Um, even if I was doing it, even if I didn't have the channel, I'd love to do it. Um, it's just always been a dream of mine. Wall mounted PC. Sounds really cool. I know the cable tidying and all that is going to be an absolute nightmare, but we're going to worry about that in future videos and uh, I'm sure it'll all work out. It'll all be grand. So building a PC is actually super simple. People make it out to be a lot more complicated than it is, but it's pretty simple. The two most complicated parts are putting your cooler on your CPU and the other part is just avoiding static. There's some basic things that you can do to avoid static. I'm going to be showing you those in this video. Let's get building.
And there you have it. It's that simple to build a PC. I can't wait to really put this thing through its paces. Um, it starts up, it works. We haven't sorted out all the RGB. Keep an eye on my channel, keep an eye on my Discord. There's gonna be lots and lots of content about my PC in the coming weeks. Uh, if you want the inside track on what's happening, do join our Discord, the link is just here. Uh, really, really good community in there and a lot of the people in that community help to fund this PC. A lot of the people in that community know a lot about PC building. If you have questions, if you wanna show off your build, there are channels in my Discord to do that. So as I say, I'm gonna be doing the tidy up of the cables, sorting out the RGB, all that kind of stuff in the future. Didn't want to cover all of that for this video. I wanted to just do the build and the initial startup and the rest is gonna come in the future. I can't wait to do my first stream with this new PC. Thanks a million again, everybody for making this happen. This is just super cool. Like I just cannot get over how cool this is that you guys have helped me build what is effectively my dream PC uh, while you know all this lockdown stuff is going on and I have uh, childcare, mortgage, cars, all this kind of stuff, real real life stuff that I need to pay for. Wasn't expecting to be able to build a new PC for several years to come and the community has made it possible for me. Now, again, don't get me wrong, I'm paying for the majority of this myself out of my own wages. The community has contributed a portion of it. None of it is sponsored, even though I did reach out to EKWB to try and get the water cooling sponsored because I do think that a lot of people are going to buy that kit as a result of watching this video. So hopefully this video will inspire a couple of you to go and build your own PCs. If you have any questions, drop them below. There's a huge community who knows a lot about building PCs and they'll gladly answer your questions if I can't. I'm Lawrence. Thanks a million for watching my channel. Thanks for making this happen and I'll chat to you all later. <laughs>